I'm Vida Mekitsu. Um, I teach ESOL classes in a community college in San Francisco, and I also teach um, graduate level writing in Golden Gate University. I work for a peace building, non profit peace building organization called Pax Populi. And hi, I'm Sarah Dietrich, and I'm a faculty member at Southeast Missouri State University. I do most of my teaching in the Masters in TESOL, which is teaching English to speakers of other languages. Um, and I have been known and been working with um, DDEM on a project for over five years. We met at a university in Massachusetts when she was a master's student, and now she's Dr. Ikichi, and we're still working together. I just finished my doctorate. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, um, we started um, five years ago. We started this project five years ago, and we didn't know COIL then, so it was kind of like, um, I knew students in Afghanistan who wanted to learn English, and Sarah was uh, giving graduate level courses for TESOL graduate students who would be uh, English language teachers. So we said, okay, there's a mutual benefit here. Why don't we bring them together online? And that's how we started. And after two years, I guess, we figured out COIL. We started coming COIL conferences, and we, um, we are happy to be here. Yeah. Yeah. And so in the time that we've been working together, when we first started, um, the idea was to give these future teachers uh, practical experience, to give them some chance to work with a student. And also, we hoped that they would um, get to practice using technology. As we started to look, so and these students, just to give you some context, um, would write reflections over the course of a semester. Uh, so they were in a course, a semester-long course, and they would meet uh, 10 times for 90 minutes each, one-on-one -on -one with an Afghan 2T. And so my students were keeping reflections. We started looking at those reflections and realizing they were learning about teaching and technology, but there was a lot going on also with intercultural communication skills, um, and they were really learning a lot about themselves. And then just recently, we started working with a third uh, colleague who wasn't able to join us today, so. Amy Minot, yes. yes. Yes, yes. And actually, one tip I would like to share now is if you're doing the research of COIL part, um, research part of COILing, actually, um, so I re strongly recommend that you don't wait until you know the scope of your research. Sometimes, even you start collecting data and you analyze data, you see that it's already there. So um, in our case, too, as Sarah said, we started with technology part of this collaboration. But then it turned out like our scope is more like intercultural communication and peace building. And so as uh, Didem said, right now our focus um, is on peace building and seeing person to person peace building that's happening through this project. Uh, we have been lucky enough, we presented at this conference and are working on a book with a third, our third colleague, as I said. Um, and are really excited about the, the transformations that we see exactly. um, in the students, that, the graduate students, and we've also had the opportunity to do some interviews with the Afghan students and follow up um, with the graduate students and are really excited about the long-term uh, impact uh, of this project, certainly on our relationship and our work, but exactly. we also think on the participants too. And how that transformative change starts with personal level and then continues with structural level for peace building. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.